Hey, what's up guys? Julian from SmartphoneFilmmakingPro.com here. The ultimate online course about smartphone filmmaking. And today we will talk about accessories for your smartphones to get the best quality possible. And you know, if you follow me for a little longer, you know that I say this very often. You know, don't focus too much on gear. Gear is not everything. You know, it's nice. It will definitely help you to get better results. But you know, knowing all the basics of filmmaking and also some creative techniques to spice up your videos is far more important period and that's also the reason why we have created smartphone filmmaking pro but more about that later on and by the way all the gear that I will be talking about in this video will be linked down below this video and in case you have not subscribed to the channel yet make sure to do so to not miss any of the future content all right so the first piece of equipment that I would like to talk about and that gets overlooked very often is audio audio is immensely important and it's half of the viewing experience nobody and trust me absolutely nobody will watch a video with bad audio. So when it comes to filming a talking head, like you can see right now, I like to use the Rode Smart Love Plus. It's a very decent mic for only about $60. And if you're searching for an on-camera mic, I would go with this from, from Andy Cine. It looks and sounds, well, pretty much identical to the one from Rode. However, it's just half of the price, so definitely a recommendation there from me. And in case you wanna use a shotgun microphone, you have to get something like the iRig Pre, and with this you will be able to use your shotgun microphone directly with your smartphone, which is awesome. And of course, you could also be using a wireless transmitter like, for example, the Rode Wireless Go. And by the way, this video is not sponsored by Rode, I just happen to like their products. So that's it. All right, so next up, let's talk about stabilizers. And if we look back like to 2017, well, back then it was very difficult to get a good three axis gimbal. Either they were extremely difficult to use, they were extremely bad or just super expensive. These days in 2021, well, that's a completely different story. Even if you just wanna spend like about $60 for a gimbal, you can get a really nice one like this from Hohem called the iSteady X. And in case you wanna see the full review, well, just click this annotation. Or if it can be a little pricier, then I can recommend this guy right here. This is the Smart XR from Aung Chuan. And I also really like this because of the little screen and how you can change modes on this one. But again, I also do have a review about this gimbal. Just click right here. And in my opinion, to this day, the best gimbal still is the one from DJI, the OM4. This is still my go-to gimbal. I use it for about 90% of all of my shoots. And in case you want to check out the comparison of all of the three gimbals that I talked about, well, then click just right here. And before we're going to talk about add-on lenses, tripods and lights, I would like to talk very briefly about Smartphone Filmmaking Pro. We are the ultimate online course about smartphone filmmaking. We currently have over 60 tutorials and well over six hours of super high valuable content that will step up your smartphone video quality a lot. We cover all the technical aspects that you need to know. We cover some creative techniques to spice up your videos. And we also cover the entire editing part on a computer, but also directly on a smartphone. And it doesn't matter if you use Android or iOS. And additionally to all that, we have about 10 more videos covering different ways to make money filming with your smartphone. So just click the first link below that like button to watch my totally free webinar where I share the top five secrets to shooting cinematic videos with your smartphone. All right, so let's talk about add-on lenses for your smartphone. And I just recently made an entire video about this topic, but add-on lenses are awesome. They just give you a ton of possibilities, no matter the phone you have. And when it comes to which lenses you should get, well then of course, it very much depends on the phone that you have and even more important, what you are shooting. If you have a flagship phone, for example, that does have a very good ultra wide angle lens, then in my opinion, you do not have to have an add-on ultra wide angle lens. My personal favorite add-on lens is the anamorphic lens from SV Assets. The image I get out of this lens with my phone well, it's just truly stunning. Another lenses that I do like to use is the macro lens from SV Assets and also the telephoto lens. And they are priced at about $100. Some are a little cheaper, some are a little more expensive. But for that, you get amazing quality glass. Another manufacturers that you could look into are Moment. They are, you know, the market leader or Sandmark, but they are just a little more expensive and pretty much identical when it comes to the final image. And when it comes to tripods, well, then it also 
very much depends. I'm not a huge tripod fan myself. I rarely ever use a tripod and even rarer than that, I use it to pan and tilt. I just do not like it. So for me, a tripod is not a big deal. With my smartphone, I use a very cheap one from Amazon. This is absolutely nothing special, but it works for the things that I do. Another alternative would be, you know, to just buy a phone mount so that you can use your phone with basically every tripod. And lastly, let's talk about lighting. And this is also a very huge topic where I have to say, well, it just depends. For talking heads, like you can see right now, I love to use big soft boxes. And it doesn't even have to be an expensive one. Actually, I use these, you know, like $30 soft boxes from Amazon a ton. And for being that cheap, well, they work amazingly well. And I even have used them professionally on shoots for clients and nobody has ever had any complaints. Another light that I really like is this tiny one. This can go from 2000 Kelvin all the way to 10,000 Kelvin. It does have a built-in battery. It comes with a little diffuser and a grid. And the best part about this light, well, it is full RGB. And for less than $50, well, this is just freaking amazing. You can use this as a little fill light or what I like to use it, I like to use it as a backlight. So definitely check it out and compared to the ones from Aperture, well, it has basically the same features and it's just like, you know, a quarter of the price. So it's amazing bang for buck wise. But there you have it guys. Let me know which accessories that you use for your mobile filmmaking. And again, all the links to the gear that I was talking about in this video are down below. And as always, if you have any further questions, please let me know.